All right, guys, back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing good. It is your boy, Will. In this video, will be talking about Dogecoin, ticker symbol D-O-G-E. I'll be giving you guys some levels that I'll be looking out for Dogecoin. So a resistance level and a support level. We don't have a clear buying level yet as we are on this down movement. It had had some little spikes in here, but I'll give you guys some key levels I'm watching on this one. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and let's get straight into it. So we have some old levels up here. We had a buying level that kind of broke down there, tested as resistance here, tested as resistance here, and then it fell. Okay, so that's why I didn't buy Dogecoin at that buying level. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take all these levels off. Make sure you get your Webull account. They do have a new promotion. I think you get up to like five free stocks when you deposit any amount. So that's the first link in the description. Why not get the five free stocks? And this is the platform that I'm using right now. This is Webull. So make sure you get your Webull account first link in the description. Now for resistance, I won't make it a long video. For resistance, I'm watching about like 13 cents. So 13 cents, just in case we get a price movement up, we want to kind of watch that area to see if some resistance levels start popping up. If it kind of breaks up here, then that might be a sign to kind of start buying uh, some Dogecoin for some potential plays. If it kind of like breaks like this, then what we'll be looking for is we'll be looking for that resistance to kind of hold as a support and then enter off that support uh, resistance turn to support and then enter to go higher. That could be a scenario. I do see Dogecoin going higher if that happens. But if it comes up and acts as resistance and falls, I think we might have a resist, I mean, a support right around like 11 cents. So let me put 11 cents, like right here, we might be finding a support um, on Dogecoin. So if it comes up to resistance and it falls down, I'll be looking for support at 11 cents. If it falls down from here, look at support at 11 cents. If 11 cents holds that support, that could also be a buying potential for a nice scout play on Doge. Like I said, it kind of just depends on what it does at the resistance level or what it does at the support level. But these are the main two levels that I'll be looking out for Dogecoin. Dogecoin could be pulling back and I am looking to buy it. It just depends on which way, which direction it goes and which level confirms. Okay. So thank you guys for watching the video. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.